Welcome to Impact Makers Radio, helping you to find jargon-free information before choosing a professional to help solve your problems and live the life you love. And here's your host, Stuart Andrew Alexander. Hi and welcome to another Let's Talk Divorce Conversation. And on this segment of the show, ladies and gentlemen, I am so, so pleased, over the moon, to finally have money coach Neil Palachi, owner of the Wealth Creator Company for Women, calling in all the way from West Lake Village in sunny California. Now, Neil, who is considered to be somewhat of a leader in the area of money consulting for women, will be talking to you today about a very interesting topic. Neil's topic today is, wait for it, post-divorce, what now? Sounds simple, but a really important topic to speak on. So if you are one of the many individuals in the Westlake Village, California area, it might be a good idea just to give yourself a break, stop what you're doing, down tools, yeah, grab yourself a coffee or a tea or whatever is your favorite beverage. And you may even want to pick up a notepad and pen and get ready to take some notes as we listen in to what Neil has to share with us today. So that said, let's not keep him waiting any longer. Welcome to the show, Neil. Thanks. Thanks, Stuart. How are you? Very, very happy to be here. Thank you. Neil, I'm on top of it. Love it. Had a great Christmas and a very good New Year celebration. So I'm really happy. Um, This is our second show for the New Year today. So I'm really excited to have you on board. So let's make the best use of our time then, Neil. Um, In your own words, of course, Can you just briefly describe the kinds of people who you serve and the various types of situations they find themselves in when they come to you for your help? Yeah, great, great question, Stuart. So what I have found uh, over the years is that the uh, divorce, of course, is quite traumatic and I focus as a result on the women uh, in, well, in, in my area here, but I work with women all over the world mm-hmm. who have gone through divorce and uh, are in a situation where maybe they have not ever handled the finances before. Right. Uh, maybe they know a little bit about the finances, uh, but they're really not totally comfortable with handling everything on their own. It's been a shared responsibility while they've been married. And now uh, it's all up to them. And uh, my job is to kind of get in there, dig deep, figure out what's going on, and make sure that uh, you know they're set to move forward uh, on their own, that they've got the knowledge that they need and they've got the tools that they need in order to make sure that they can have a successful financial future. So it's obvious when I hear that, that you're doing some very important work out there. So before we continue then, Neil, let's just take a moment to make it absolutely clear that anything you share with us from this point on is not legal advice or legal assistance. It's purely for the purpose of disseminating information. Can we both agree on that then today, Neil? That would be absolutely correct. Yes. Thank you, Stuart. Fantastic. So with that said, then, when you think about all of those people who you work with, then, Neil, and I'm sure there are just so many uh, misconceptions that you come across, but what's the most common misconception that you have to deal with on a day to day basis? Well, look, you know, out here in California, we're supposed to live uh, in a place where everything's community property. In other words, somebody gets divorced, they're supposed to get half of everything. And if they've got no income, they're supposed to get a certain amount of income. And if they've got children, they're supposed to get a certain amount of income for those kids. Unfortunately, that doesn't always work out that way. Mm -hmm. Uh, Divorces and the arguments and the discussions and the hiding of assets and so on and so forth. There's lots of stuff that goes on that is uh, not what you would want to have to deal with, uh, but nevertheless, you need to. So I'd say some of the common misconceptions might be that you're going to get half of everything and you're going to get the income that you need. Everything's going to be hunky-dory, and unfortunately, it doesn't always work out that way. 
Right, but isn't that the law in, in California? Correct me if I'm wrong. It is the law, and there you have it. So you say, well, wait a minute, it's the law. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, so you'd say, uh, shouldn't it happen that way? Why does it have to be so complicated? Why do we have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on on lawyers and you know, accountants that have to get in and figure out where money is. Well, un un unfortunately, and I know this is hard to believe, Stuart, mm. but people sometimes don't tell the truth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so based on that, then, based on what you just shared with us then, Neil, and obviously keeping your client's confidentiality in mind, can you just please share an example of how you have helped or even how you would go about helping somebody who had that misconception, that challenge that you just described and what kind of transformational results you've been able to gain or in general would be able to gain for somebody who had that misconception? Well, so number one, if, if somebody comes to me prior to, to getting divorced uh, or at the beginning of their thought process about getting divorced, uh, you know, I, I do want to make sure that they've got a clear understanding of the reality of, of how things work. Mm. Uh, and this is almost, it's almost before I start doing my official work, because most of my work, as I said, is, is post-divorce. But it's all about expectations, isn't it, really? Right. So the idea here is if I expect one thing and I go in and I get a whole lot less than that, then I'm not a very happy camper. If I go in with a bit of a reality check and I understand this might not quite be as easy and as simple and straightforward as I thought, then you may be, you know, you're going to be a bit stressed, but at least you go in with a reasonable expectation. So I think that's my first job mm. is to set the expectations at where they really are rather than where you think they are or where your friend said they are or where even the law says they are. Or the TV says they are. Or the TV, correct, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so listen, as a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a lot of fun today. I can tell that. But as a reminder, my guest today is money coach Neil Palachi, owner of the Wealth Creator Company for Women in Westlake Village, California. And his topic for today is post-divorce, what now? Now, with that in mind then, um, Neil, and for those individuals, those women who are out there listening in right now, please share one common but unknown pitfall that they need to be aware of, no matter what kind of situation they find themselves in. Well, uh, that's such a great question. Um, that list is, is, is fairly long. Uh, but the main thing I think is somewhat related to what we were saying before, that, that there's an expectation of a certain amount of money and income. So, so I would say that the main, I think it is unknown pitfall, mm. is to make decisions, particularly financial decisions, buying a house, getting a car, uh, you know, moving into a certain area geographically and so forth to make those larger decisions based upon what you think is going to happen or what you think should happen rather than waiting to see what happens and then making those decisions. So I, I do see that people, uh, you know, are thinking that they're going to have X and they don't and then they move or get into a car or whatever it is, and they end up with expenses mm -hmm. um, that they can't ultimately afford. And then they've got to back out of everything. So that to me would be the biggest issue. Well, what's that based on then, um, Neil? Is it experience? Why would you say make those decisions based on what you think is going to happen? Well, because what happens is you, so you've got husband and wife, let's take a, a scenario where you've got husband and wife, and let's say that uh, it's more of a traditional marriage where um, mum is raising the kids and dad is out generating income. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, mum says, oh, you know, dad makes, uh, 
150 grand, like let's say, you know, because that's the first question that is asked, particularly in the legal field, kind of like, you know, what are your assets and how much does dad make? Um, and there, there is a calculator that is available on the web um, and it will calculate for you what amount of money your husband should be paying you in monthly spousal and or child support. Unfortunately, what the web doesn't do is it doesn't give you the 14 different alternative calculations that are also available. And dependent on how the case goes and how the judge sees things mm -hmm. will have a quite an impact on the amount of money that you receive. So you go, oh, okay, he's supposed to say, you know, pay me five grand a month in spousal and 1500 in child support and that's what my friend Jillian's getting so that'd be about right right um, and then you know people actually will begin to make decisions based on that expectation and it's a big mistake but people do it well thanks for clarifying that that's going to be very useful for our listeners out there today um, Neil you, I'm kind of curious, listening to you, I can tell there's just so much that you have to give, however, however we are limited by time. But I'm kind of curious now, Neil, um, how many years have you been a practicing money coach? I have been doing this now for, this would be my ninth year, 2018. Right, so... Okay, so in nine years, I, I, I will assume that you've helped... Um, quite a lot of people um, to achieve you know, the goals that they were looking for when they initially reached out to you for your help. Mm -hmm. So looking back, thinking back about all of those women who you've helped, on a deep down personal level then, Neil, what does it give you and how does it make you feel? For me, it's extremely gratifying. Uh, the, the idea that I can have uh, an impact uh, on someone's life for the rest of their life, potentially, mm. uh, and to give them the tools that they can then take and, you know, get better jobs, build better careers, build better businesses, and have more control over their financial future. I mean, it, it just puts a big smile ear to ear on, on my face to see the results that my clients are getting. It's fantastic. Well, when you think about, you know, your, your profession and what you do, money coaching and helping um, women who find themselves in that unfortunate position of facing divorce, going through a divorce, or even having gone through a divorce, when you think about your industry as a whole, where, where do you see it going? And let's say the next five, 10 years or so. Well, look, uh, it's kind of like a good news, bad news answer to that question. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, the good news is there's going to be more divorces and the bad news is there's going to be more divorces. So, you know, when fr from the perspective of that, I mean, the, the numbers are pretty much, uh, uh, they're large. And, um, you know, the, there's a, more and more people that I see in the, in the financial world who are spending more time in the divorce niche. And I think that's a good thing. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, I'm happy about that. So mixed up in all of those divorces that are going to happen on the ones happening right now are the little innocent ones. I call them the ones with the invisible voices, the, the little children who get caught up in these situations when mom and dad are getting divorced. So for those listeners that are tuning in right now and the ones in the future, um, as this show will be online, what would you, what would you sh like to share with them if they if they do have children, and they find themselves in that situation where they're, yeah, unfortunately there is conflict between the um the the two divorcing partners. What what kind of insights would you like to share? And obviously, again, this is not legal advice. No, no, and and. <laughs> Not only is it not legal advice, but it's not even it's not therapeutic advice either. I'm certainly not a Absolutely. therapist. Absolutely, yeah. 
look, clearly there's some common sense issues here that need to be looked at carefully. And unfortunately, I've seen my share of divorcing men and women who mm. kind of use their children a little bit as pawns, right. um, you know, to get what they want. And that is very, very sad. I mean, it's very, very sad. Uh, it, it's hard enough for children, obviously, to grow up in a in a marriage where, you know, mum and dad are not happy and shouting and screaming at each other all the time and all that. But when you're going through a divorce and one's moved out of the house and the kids are running back and forth to live with this one and live with that one, um, if if the parents are sharing a lot of that stuff with their kids, especially younger kids, and using information to make the other person look bad and and then going in for custody battles and stuff. I mean, it's just, please, please don't do that. Do everything mm. that you can to protect the kids. Neil, you're, you're good at what you do, aren't you? I believe that I am, and my clients <laughs> certainly feel so. So I'm going to say yes. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> I, I, I just got this feeling that you're really great at what you do. So much so that, yeah, I think I'm going to file for divorce so that I can be one of your clients. Is that, is that okay? <laughs> no, don't do that, please. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. All right, then, moving on. Um, briefly then, Neil, spend a moment just telling us a little bit about your backstory. Um, yeah, your formal education and especially your experience as it relates to what you do today with helping women in divorce with their finances. Right. Well, thanks. Uh, I'll make it brief. I came uh, I came to uh, America from England in 79, and by 83, I was in the financial services business, mm -hmm. selling insurance and investments and uh, became a registered investment advisor, managed money, uh, was a financial planner, insurance agent, and registered rep for the better part of 25 years prior to doing the nine years that I've now been doing money coaching. Mm -hmm. So essentially 34 years of being in the financial services business in that sector. Uh, when I was in the financial planning and money business, uh, you know, unfortunately people do pass away and people do get divorced. So I saw a lot of that and was involved with many of my clients uh, when I was managing their money and handling their insurances, seeing what happens. Um, and uh, by 2008, 2009, I was of the mind that I wanted to uh, kind of take a slight, a slight right, as it were, fork in the road. Mm. Am I going to continue down financial services or am I going to become a money coach and consult with divorced and widowed women specifically and that's what i decided to do so Fantastic. Uh, it was a, it was a it, it was a good move and i'm happy to be helping those people out there in the world and the rest as they say is history um and the rest is history yeah <laughs> fantastic i really like this guy he's, he's a really cool guy i'm speaking with my production assistant here <laughs> so listen neil <laughs> for those individuals who are listening right now um yeah what final thoughts would you like to share with them before we close out with our last question for today well, look, I, listen, I just want to say thank you to you for for having me on. I really appreciate it. Uh, for, for anybody that's out there, uh, you know, just know, uh, you probably already know this if you're going through a divorce. If you're not going through a divorce, or if you're thinking about it, please do everything you can to work out your marriage because divorce is really, really, really difficult. If you have to, make sure you've got yourself a really good lawyer that, um, you know, is looking out for your best interest. And of course, you know, you can always get a hold of me if you'd like to, and I'm happy to help and give you and point you in the right, what I consider to be the right direction. So I appreciate being on and I, I hope that everybody has a fantastic 2018. Fantastic, Neil. So if there is somebody who does feel that they do need to know more about what they should do after a divorce, post-divorce, as you say, how would they connect with you? What's the easiest way? Well, the easiest way to connect with me is whatever the easiest way is for you. So 
If you want to call me, you can call me directly uh, in the United States at 818-606-7327. You can also text me on that number. And if you want to uh, get a hold of me email-wise, neil at thewealthcreatorcompany.com. And, of course, uh, thewealthcreatorcompany.com is also the website. So there's good stuff on there. And you can reach me through the website also if you so choose. So any, any of those, whatever makes the most sense and is easiest for you. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing that with us, Neil. I'll, I'll also ensure that your contact details are on the website beneath your show. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. I've just got a feeling that we've begun to scrape the tip of the iceberg. However, we do have to go. So once more, as a reminder... We have been listening to money coach Neil Palachi. Thank you so much for sharing so generously with us today, Neil. You have certainly demonstrated without a doubt that you are a true educator and advocate for your client's success. So thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Stuart. I appreciate being on the show. You are so welcome, and I appreciate the James Bond accent. I thought I was the only James Bond accent online, but uh, yeah, I do have a predecessor. <laughs> so uh, there, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we also, do our best, right? <laughs> we we do we do our best. I mean, oh, I know once we put your show online, the ladies out there are going to be swooning. We, you know, I've had ladies swooning here in the in the studio already, saying, "Who is this dashing young man?" And now you've come on here with this James Bond voice game over so yeah I'm gonna have to deal with the fallout <laughs> of that so anyway listen I'd like to take a moment just to say a big thank you to our listeners also because without you well we wouldn't have anybody to speak to so thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to join us on this very insightful and informative conversation with Neil Palachi he's calling in all the way from Westlake Village, California. Make sure you do check him out, give him a call, send him an email, visit his website. Whatever you do decide to do, I am absolutely convinced that after listening to Neil for just a short while today, remember we are limited by time, I'm sure that you are going to be in good hands. So that's it, folks. Once again, my name is Stuart Alexander, the guy, or the other guy with the James Bond accent. I'm trying to be as good looking as Neil, but mm, I got some catching up to do. But anyway, <laughs> we'll be back shortly with some more leading divorce professionals in this, our series of Let's Talk Divorce Conversations. So until then, take care, have a great day, and we'll talk real soon. Thank you for tuning in to Impact Makers Radio. To listen to all past, present, and future industry thought leaders and trendsetters, visit us at impactmakersradio.com.